you might call this place Trump versus Biden, ground zero. Charlottesville, Virginia is where a white nationalist rally sparked riots in 2017 with fatal consequences. Donald Trump said there were fine people on both sides. Joe Biden said those remarks inspired him to run for president in 2020. Cue the rerun in 2024. There was no Trump endorsement from Nikki Haley as she pulled out of the Republican race. There was a reference to a former British prime minister. I have always been a conservative Republican and always supported the Republican nominee. But on this question, as she did on so many others, Margaret Thatcher provided some good advice when she said, quote, never just follow the crowd, always make up your own mind. The crowd that followed Haley is the crowd Trump will need. Charlottesville is a city and a county among few in Virginia that backed Nikki Haley. Where does her vote go now? We asked Haley supporters downtown. <laughs> I'm going to vote for Joe Biden. Although I'm a lifelong Republican, I wouldn't vote for Donald Trump. He was running for dog catcher. Why? You, you, how much time do you have? He's deranged. He's a threat to humankind, to the planet, to the world, to world peace. I will not vote for Trump. Why not? I don't trust that man. I wouldn't trust that man to be in my house, and I wouldn't in my personal house with my wife or my daughter, and I wouldn't trust him in the White House either. Super Tuesday was just another Tuesday in much of America. Donald Trump's advance, a foregone conclusion. Close the borders, fix the econ economy, give us back some law and order, some respect. He doesn't represent what I, what I would stand for. Not things I would stand for, no. I did vote for him four years, or eight years ago, um, but I really don't know that he is what we need in this country right now again. That I'm proud to be an American. Donald Trump's Super Tuesday speech was a call for unity as he eyes the presidential election. I've been saying lately, success will bring unity to our country, and it happened before. We had the best economy our country's ever had. And so the United States has a presidential rematch. It's first for 70 years, and almost certainly it's most negative. Already, both men are shaping the next eight months as a referendum on the other. All while polls reflect a public despair at the presidential choice, in which for both men, weakness is seen to outweigh strength. James Matthews, Sky News, in Charlottesville, Virginia.